Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about how to create a basic new block. Let's go ahead and get started. So, when I create a mod and I um, have new blocks in it, I like to place all of my block code inside of a separate package. So, based on the code, we're starting with the code that we created in um, the setup of Minecraft Forge Part 2. Go ahead and watch that episode if you haven't already or just download the source code from the video. Source code is always in the description uh, when applicable. So I'm going to create a new package and this will be mods tutorial mod dot common dot blocks. And we hit finish and we'll create a new class and this is going to be block tutorial. Now the block tutorial class is going to extend block um, because it is a block. This is a normal Minecraft um, class, so we're going to want to import block. Be careful that you import the block from net.minecraft.block, um, not the jorbis one, um, because that doesn't have the required methods, and I'm not sure it's even a Minecraft um, class. So now you'll see that it's giving us an error. Um, with the class name and it's telling us that we need to add a constructor. Now for those of you who might not know, a constructor is basically a method that gets called upon um, initialization of a class object in Java. So to create the constructor we're just going to say public and then the class name, in this case block tutorial, and we're going to need a few uh, parameters. Actually just one in this case and it's going to be int id and then we can just say super id and I believe that I might have an issue here um, we also need oh yeah we also need a material and that's just going to be material dot and then whatever your material is in this case I'm just going to say material dot rock but you can make it any of the provided materials or you could make your own material. Um, I will be doing a tutorial on that at a later date. Now, once we have this constructor created, uh, that's actually just about all we need to create a new block. Um, we're going to go inside of our basic tutorial class and above our at init method, it could be below a method, just make sure that it's not inside of a method. We're going to create public static block and go away. Uh, we're going to call this block tutorial. You could call it whatever you want. Now we need to import block. Make sure it's from net.minecraft.block and we're going to use this um, right inside of our load method. We're going to say block tutorial equals new block tutorial. Make sure to get your capitalization right. Um, and the ID is going to be something, it needs to be above, I would recommend it to be above 256 because that's as high as the vanilla Minecraft goes. Um, I'm going to just set it to 800 right now because I like the number 800. And you're going to see it's going to give us an error right here because uh, due to the fact that block tutorial is in a different package, we need to import it. So go ahead and import block tutorial. Um, sometimes if I have a lot of block classes that I'm going to be messing with, I like to just create a new um, class inside of our inside of my blocks package, um, which handles all of the blocks, and then I just call methods from that from um, my load method. Now, with this block tutorial equals new block tutorial, we can actually call methods on it um, from right here. Now, I'm going to cover what a lot of these methods do later. But the main one we need is dot set unlocalized name. Now this is pretty important, um, especially when creating textures for your block. And we're going to want to make it a unique unlocalized and a unique name. Um, I'm just going to say this is going to be block tutorial, but you could call it whatever you want. Now. We're going now. We're going to have to um, do two things to this block. We're going to have to register it with the game, and we're going to have to register it with 
um, the language registries. Now, I like to create a separate method, or two, just a single method to be able to do this um, inside of my class. You don't have to. You could just call the game registry and language registry methods uh, for every single block, but this way I only have to do one thing per block instead of two, and it's just easier. So I'm going to create a new method, and that is public static void register block, and the parameters are going to be block block string string name and string unlocalized name. Now we're going to say game registry dot register block and we're going to register it with the block and then we're going to say this dot or tutorial dot mod ID and we're going to add the unlocalized name. Now the reason we're adding the mod ID is to make sure that the game is registering it with a unique um, with a unique name, I guess. Uh, if you were making a, say, industrial mod and you had copper in your mod, well, there's a lot of other industrial mods that have copper, and if they're all trying to register copper at the same time, it's going to crash the game. So you want to put your mod ID in front of the unlocalized name uh, just to make sure that doesn't happen. And then we're going to say language registry dot add name. And this is a fairly self-explanatory method. We're just going to say block and then the name. So when we want to register our new block, I'm just going to say block tutorial dot or not block tutorial dot this dot actually we don't even need to say this sorry register block block tutorial and it'll be block or er, tutorial block and then we're going to say block tutorial dot get unlocalized name two make sure it's get unlocalized name two sometimes get unlocalized name has a few issues where it adds some stuff so we're just going to do get unlocalized name two and that is all we need to do to register a new block within the game. If we run Minecraft right now, then you will see if we go into single player, I'm going to create a new creative world. Um, I don't think we need any different parameters with it. Okay, um, that's an interesting spawn point right out of the cave. Um, so, if we want to find our new block, um, it's not going to actually be right there, um, but I can just say slash give, oh wait, I don't know the username in this. Um, it's not going to be in the creative mode inventory at the moment, I don't believe. No, it's not. Um, so what we're going to do is just something that, this is something I'm going to cover in a later tutorial. Um, I'm going to say dot set creative tab, um, creative tabs dot tab block. I'm going to cover that in part three of the block um, tutorial group, I guess. The next part two is going to be adding new textures um, and it should, out, should be out later on the day that this um, video is uploaded because I, well, assuming that the YouTube scheduler does not mess up. But if we go into the building blocks tab, you'll see at the very bottom, we have our new tutorial block. Now. The texture is a bit weird, you'll see it says missing texture, and the reason for that is that we obviously haven't um, given it a texture. So that's going to be something I cover um, in part two of our block tutorial group. So, thank you for watching, source code is in the description as usual, and I will see you next time, don't forget to subscribe, bye.